chemical equation. Let us observe a chemical change. Copper powder is heated in a china dish. Copper molecules combine with oxygen in air and form black colored copper oxide. This is a detailed description of the chemical reaction which is lengthy. If we abbreviate it in a single line, it can be represented as copper plus oxygen gives copper oxide. This simple form of representation of chemical reaction in words is known as word equation or we can make it more concise by using chemical formulae as Cu plus O2 gives CuO representation of a chemical reaction using symbols of the elements to indicate chemical formulae is a chemical equation. Writing a chemical equation The substances that undergo change are called reactants and substances formed at the end are the products of the reaction. The reactants are always represented on the left hand side LHS while the products are shown on the right hand side RHS of the equation. Reactants and products are separated by an arrow pointing towards the products and the tail towards the reactants thus representing the direction of the reaction. If the number of reactants and products is more than one, they are written with a plus sign in between them. The conditions of a reaction, that is, temperature, pressure, catalyst, etc., are mentioned on or below the arrow between the reactants and products. The physical states of the reactants and products should be mentioned in the chemical equation to make it more informative. The gaseous, liquid and solid states are symbolized as G, L and S respectively. For example, edible oil L plus hydrogen G fats S. The chemical equation should be balanced, that is, the number of atoms should be same on left hand side and right hand side of the chemical equation. Balancing the chemical equation. According to the law of conservation of mass, the total mass of the reactants remains equal to the total mass of the products during a chemical reaction. In other words, the number of atoms of each element remains same before and after a chemical reaction.